Hello and welcome to Med Simplified. In this video we will discuss about diet and foods that are very good for people suffering from depression. Depression is a common illness worldwide and it is estimated that more than 264 million people across the globe suffer from depression and it is the second leading cause of death in the 15 to 29 year age group. Depression affects many people and it can be life changing. Medical treatment and counseling can often help relieve symptoms but lifestyle remedies such as a healthful diet can also boost a person's well-being. Diet is such an important component of mental health that it has inspired an entire field of medicine called nutritional psychiatry. This field of medicine has studied that what we eat matters for every aspect of our health but especially our mental health and it also explores the effect of nutritional changes on mental health. Inflammation in the brain is thought to be a major cause of mental health illnesses and this inflammation can also come from a long period of poor eating. Healthy eating can protect against this inflammation and can even improve our cognitive function which is a fancy word that describes our ability to attain new information, reason with people, remember things and pay attention. One analysis concluded that a dietary pattern characterized by a high intake of fruits vegetables whole grains fish olive oil low fat dairy antioxidants and low intake of animal foods was apparently associated with a decreased risk of depression and a dietary pattern characterized by high consumption of red processed meat refined grains sweets high fat products butter and low intake of fruits and vegetables was associated with an increased risk of depression Well in this video we will discuss seven such types of foods that are very good for people with depression and other mood related disorders. Our bodies normally make molecules called free radicals during the inflammation and these can lead to cell damage, aging and other problems. Studies show that your brain is particularly at risk. Although there's no way to stop free radicals completely, but you can lessen their destructive effect by eating foods rich in antioxidants here are some important antioxidants and the foods that contain them beta carotene which is found in apricots broccoli carrots collards peaches pumpkins spinach and sweet potatoes is a very important antioxidant for mental health vitamin c is also a very good antioxidant and is found in lemons limes blueberries broccoli grapefruit kiwis oranges peppers strawberries tomatoes etc vitamin e is also good and is present in nuts and seeds vegetable oils wheat germ oil kiwis and avocados carbohydrates are linked to the mood elevating brain chemical serotonin Experts are unsure but carbohydrate cravings may be related to low serotonin activity. Also, according to a study by Columbia Medical Center in 2015, a diet high in refined carbohydrates may lead to an increased risk for new onset depression in postmenopausal women. So choose your carbs wisely. Limit sugary foods and opt for smart or complex carbohydrates such as whole grains and legumes rather than simple carbs such as white bread rice cakes and cookies fruits and vegetables like banana sweet potatoes peas broccoli and oats also have healthy carbohydrates and fiber amino acids which are the building blocks of protein play an important role in the production of neurotransmitters Neurotransmitters are the chemicals which allow brain cells to communicate with each other and the rest of the body. The two neurotransmitters that are affected by your protein intake are dopamine and serotonin, which are the most important neurotransmitters that regulate our mood and behavior. For example, when you eat a piece of chicken, your body breaks down the protein and synthesizes the amino acid L-tyrosine to produce dopamine. The amino acid tryptophan, which is also produced when proteins are digested, can help your brain to produce serotonin elevated levels of serotonin are associated with improved mood and brain cognition while lower levels are associated with depression try to eat something protein rich several times a day especially when you need to clear your mind and boost your energy 
Good sources of healthy proteins include beans, peas, lean beef, low fat cheese, fish, milk, poultry, soy products and yogurt. Vitamin B12 and other B vitamins play an important role in producing brain chemicals that affect mood and other brain functions. Low levels of vitamin B12 and other B vitamins such as vitamin B6 and folate can link to depression. A Spanish study found that rates of depression are higher in males, especially smokers, as they got less folate. The same thing happened for women, especially those who smoked or didn't exercise. Low levels of vitamin B can result from eating a poor diet or not being able to absorb the vitamins you consume. Older adults, vegetarians and people with digestive disorders such as celiac disease or Crohn's disease may have trouble getting enough vitamin B12. Sometimes a vitamin B12 deficiency can also occur for unknown reasons also. Vitamin B containing foods include legumes, nuts, many fruits and dark green vegetables. Vitamin B12 can be found in all lean and low fat animal products such as fish, low fat dairy and many other animal products. Vitamin D receptors are located throughout the body, including your brain. A recent national study found that the likelihood of having depression is higher in people with low levels of vitamin D. Research has also shown that vitamin D might play an important role in regulating mood and preventing depression. In one study, scientists found that people with depression who received vitamin D supplements noticed an improvement in their symptoms. Vitamin D is known as the sunshine vitamin because our bodies produce it when exposed to sunlight. Vitamin D is also present in milk and other foods and is available in small amounts in fatty fish like tuna, salmon and mackerel. Beef liver, cheese and egg yolks also have vitamin D. It can be hard to get the required amount from our diets which is why supplements are often prescribed by physicians. Studies have reported a link between low selenium and poor moods. The recommended amount of selenium is 55 micrograms a day for adults. Evidence isn't clear that taking selenium supplements can help and it is possible to get too much selenium. So it is probably best to focus on foods and avoid supplements. Foods that contain selenium include beans and legumes, lean meat, lean pork and beef, chicken and turkey, low-fat dairy products, nuts and seeds, especially Brazil nuts, but no more than one or two a day because of their high selenium content. Seafood like oysters, clams, sardines, crabs, saltwater fish are also good sources of selenium. Whole grains such as whole grain pasta, brown rice, oatmeal also contain this trace element. Recently, scientists have found that people that don't eat enough omega-3s may have higher rates of major depressive disorders. Because depression appears less common in nations where people eat large amounts of fish, scientists have investigated whether fish oils may prevent or even treat depression and other mood-related disorders. Good sources of omega-3s including alpha-linolic acid are fatty fish like mackerel, salmon, sardines, shad and tuna, flaxseed, canola and soybean oils, nuts, especially walnuts, dark green leafy vegetables. Mental health is a very important issue especially for our generation. Our mental health affects how we think, feel and act as we cope with life. It also helps to determine how we handle stress, relate to others and make choices. I am going to make many such videos on mental health in the future. So if you are interested in this topic, make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you found our videos helpful, you can support MedSimplified by making a small donation on patreon.com slash medsimplified. Or you can also join our channel here on YouTube and get members only exclusive content like exclusive posts, behind the scenes of our videos and much more. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.